Instead of daily re-uploads of videos downloaded from other sites, on Wham Bam Dashcam, we release just one weekly episode featuring the best dashcam footage sent directly to us by our fans. Buckle up for an exciting ride. Eric sent us this footage from a dashcam in a company semi-truck. Eric told us this truck was being driven by Quincy, who wasn't hurt when an oncoming semi was hit by a hydroplaning SUV, sending it into the temporary median barrier. The impact sent the Jersey barrier sliding into Quincy's lane, where they were struck by a car that had been passing Quincy's Peterbilt. The highway was shut down for cleanup, and Eric told us police responded in under five minutes. Jared was bringing his daughter home from school when a Pineville police officer driving a Ford Interceptor SUV turned in front of him. Come on, man. Oncoming traffic prevented Jared from swerving into the oncoming lane as he hit both the brakes and the horn. He told us the patrol vehicle had to be towed away due to damage done to the steering mechanism. His BMW was also damaged, but he told us the city paid for the repairs. He wanted to shout out his girlfriend Elizabeth and all of his kids and told us, we all love your videos. If you do too, be sure to subscribe for more. Samantha was coming home after a vacation in San Jose and had been driving for a few hours. She told us she wasn't distracted and had both hands on the wheel when a piece of debris suddenly appeared in the road. We can tell she tried to swerve around it, but she couldn't avoid an impact and nearly lost control after hitting the unknown object. Once she was able to make it safely to the shoulder, she found considerable damage to her car. Fixing the damage to her Hyundai Elantra cost over 4,700 US dollars, but thankfully her insurance provider covered most of it. She wanted to thank Captain g Dog from Castro Towing for taking her and her sister to Valencia. Andrew watched the driver of a Dodge Challenger run a red light and T-bone a crossing Toyota Prius. Both drivers stopped and Andrew told us the driver of the Challenger got out and checked on the Prius driver. Andrew also stopped along with a nurse who had witnessed the collision. Thankfully, nobody was injured. Andrew gave everyone his contact info, but he said nobody was interested in seeing his dash cam footage. He told us firefighters and paramedics arrived on scene as he left. Tate was driving to school when he watched the trailer in front of him kick up something from the road, making a perfect skill shot into the power lines running next to the highway. We can't tell if the debris came from the trailer or was just picked up from the road surface, but either way, that was some impressive aim. Tate told us he had no idea what had happened when he heard the loud boom sound. He doesn't know if anyone lost power, but he told us the pickup driver didn't appear to notice what had happened. He also said he loves being able to watch our videos without having to pause them to read descriptions. Thanks, Tate. Jordan sent us a video from a dash cam in a concrete mixing truck. He was driving down a highway when he was suddenly cut off by a reckless Jeep driver. Yikes! Jordan was glad his truck wasn't fully loaded or else it would have been a collision. He also pointed out a cop car that drove past soon after. Perhaps he'd been in pursuit of the Jeep, but we'll never know for sure. When Alex was confronted by an oncoming pickup on a narrow road, he pulled his Mazda Miata over as far as he could to give it space, but it wasn't enough to avoid a collision. Me! You hit me! Sadly, the pickup driver fled the scene. Alex filed an insurance claim and his car is currently being repaired. The license plate number in the original footage was pretty clear, so we hope the pickup driver will be held accountable. If you've ever wondered why we blur some license plates and not others, it's simply because the law requires us to for footage from some countries, but not from others. Just send us your videos and we'll take care of it. Anthony was headed to Chick-fil-A when he encountered a rental truck hauling some rather interesting cargo.
It seems two gentlemen, we can only really see one in the video, were chilling in the back of the U-Haul truck on their phones. Anthony told us, Philly people doing Philly things. Thankfully, Anthony was able to make it to his destination and acquire a spicy chicken deluxe. Tony was in line to buy fuel for his Harley when the RV next to him rear-ended a BMW. Tony gave the BMW driver his contact info and later sent him a copy of his dash cam footage. Thankfully, nobody was harmed by the collision. Nico was driving his Subaru WRX in the Hoffman Estates suburb of Chicago when he pulled up to an always stop. Check out what happened once he'd started making his way through the intersection. Holy oh, the driver of an SUV blew through the stop sign on Nico's left, and only by slamming on his brakes was he able to avoid getting T-boned. Thankfully, it was only a close call. By the way, go check out Nico's channel Motoshuda. After you're done watching this video, of course. Narek's father is an Uber driver who was transporting two passengers when they all witnessed an SUV ahead of them rear-end another vehicle, pushing it sideways into another car. Multiple people stopped to render aid after the SUV rolled onto its side. Narek's father had to continue transporting his passengers, but it doesn't look like anybody was seriously hurt. This submitter was driving behind a minivan in the passing lane when he was suddenly cut off by this week's Tesla behaving badly. Bad, bad okay. Tesla man can't drive. Our submitter pointed out that a turn signal does not give a driver the right of way. He also noted that just because Teslas have great safety features, that doesn't always mean their drivers are safe. Mario was driving his Toyota Corolla and talking to a friend when they suddenly heard tires screeching behind them. Mario doesn't know if the SUV driver was distracted or if his tires were just bald, but either way, the Ford had made contact with his Corolla. Amazingly, they couldn't find any damage to either vehicle. Mario decided to let the guy go since there wasn't any damage and as he tells it, the SUV was as old and worn out as the tires. Alex is 16 and worked hard to earn money to buy his 98 Ford Mustang. A few weeks after installing a dash cam, he encountered a wandering SUV driver while waiting in a center turn lane. Thankfully, the SUV that was approaching him at 60 miles per hour swerved back over at the last second. Alex said, you can wait to send that text and don't kill someone with your massive SUV. We couldn't agree more, Alex. Nathan was driving his Hyundai Accent when he came across a semi-truck that had collided with an SUV while trying to back into a driveway. Oh my Nathan had passengers and couldn't stop, but he told us he emailed a copy of his footage to the police in case it was needed for an investigation. When he came back half an hour later, the road had already been cleared. Jared was driving along when he encountered a jaywalker illegally crossing the road in front of him. He stopped with plenty of room, but the guy was evidently still offended and felt like testing Jared's patience. After staring at Jared for a while, still as a statue, the guy flipped him off before getting out of the road. Thankfully, nothing else happened. What do you think was this guy's problem? Let us know in the comments. While Andy was on his way home from his aunt's house, he noticed a red car merging onto the highway and slowed down to make room for it to get in front of him. Evidently, the driver of the red car had a better idea. Instead of merging in front of Andy, the other driver tried to cut in front of a blue car, sideswiping it. Andy told us nobody was injured and he continued home to send his footage to Wham Bam. Sean Silverado was nearly forced into a ditch by an oncoming semi-truck that crossed the center line. Yeah! Oh! What the f is wrong with that dumb 
He barely avoided driving off the road and into a culvert after swerving as much as he could. He told us the company who owns the truck, Defiance Energy Services, never contacted him after he sent them this footage. Michael witnessed a black car pull out of a driveway in front of an oncoming silver car whose driver had no chance to avoid a collision. Michael turned around to check on the occupants of the silver car, a married couple with a one-year-old daughter who'd been driving for 12 hours on their way home from a trip. Thankfully, nobody was hurt in the collision. Kevin sent us this video, which is a little different from our usual fare. He wanted to show us a Roosevelt Island cable car pulling into the station above a busy intersection. Speaking as someone who has never seen this before, that's pretty cool. Subscribe if you agree, and don't forget to check out our private Discord server just for Patreon supporters. The link is in the video description. Wham, bam, we got a Patreon, man. Please support the show.